At this point, the only people behind bars one year later are Bernie Madoff and his right-hand man, Frank D. Pascali. So for his thousands of victims, it has been a year in which few have received any money back and none has received what could be called justice. And the anger comes out in many different ways. I could have told you he'd hurt you. Singer Cynthia Crane lost her life savings to the scam, and now Madoff is part of her act. Is there anyone out there who doesn't know who Bernie Madoff is? <laughs> the guy who put the pee in Ponzi, the bull in bull market, and the scum and scum dog billionaire. Wednesday on Capitol Hill, other Madoff investors demanded better treatment from the government. This year for me has been an absolute nightmare. More than half of the investors have had their claims for losses denied because they took out more money than they put in over the years. This is blood money. These people are entitled to keep what they took out. And many others who qualify are still waiting for payment from the agency that insures brokerage accounts, called SIPIC. Its president said an even longer wait is in store. A reasonable answer to a reasonable time frame would be, in light of all those hardships, would be a year. They don't have this time. For them, this is their only resources. People are in nursing homes. It was one year ago today in this New York office building that Madoff brought his sons into his office and confessed that he was a crook. And that was the last time I saw them. Madoff's secretary for 25 years, Eleanor Squillari, was there that day. And she's upset that one year later, prosecutors have yet to move against others she believes were involved in the scam. I'm very angry. I'm very angry. I'm not an authority on what the FBI should be doing, but I'm, I'm totally baffled that there haven't been more arrests. Since that day last year, Madoff's son's Mark, seen here in a commercial for his fishing rod business, and Andy have denied any knowledge of their father's crimes and have not spoken one word since that day to their father or to their mother, Ruth. Well, Ruth enabled Bernie to be the way that he was. It, Bernie and Ruth were always that close. It was always them first and then the boys. So when Bernie got arrested, Ruth didn't go to her sons. Ruth decided to stay with Bernie. Uh, it's like, to me, that's like a double whammy. They lost both parents. There may be some good news this morning for the victims of the Madoff scam. Total losses of money actually put in is estimated around $20 billion. And so far, the government has recovered only $1.4 billion along with the bankruptcy trustee. But lawyers familiar with a number of lawsuits now pending by the bankruptcy trustee say that within a year, that figure could jump to almost $10 billion recovered, meaning, <clears throat> pardon me, that Madoff's investors might get back half of what they put in, a significant jump. And some good oh, news for those investors. That's right. Finally, after this long, hard year. Thank you, Brian. And if you want to read an excerpt from Brian's book, The Madoff Chronicles, go to abcnews.com slash books.